Hi, this is Justin Taylor again at Brainshare 2013, and today we're going to take a look at what is new in Secure Login, our enterprise single sign-on application. To help us understand that, we've got our good friend Troy. Hey, Troy. How are you doing, Justin? Good. Um, thanks for being here, and can you maybe give me a little information about what's new in Secure Login 8? Secure Login 8 has a lot of new features that are going to help with ease of use. Uh, one of the major ones, of course, we'll demo here in a minute, is all of the advanced authentication capabilities in a Microsoft, a pure Microsoft environment. Where we've had advanced authentication before in Novell environments with our NMAS components, we now have it in our AD environments, and it's also shared across products the same way the NMAS was. So that's one feature. Another feature is we have enhanced reporting. So uh, for Sentinel and Syslog users, there's uh, new features in the reporting. Not only do we have we added elements that will be captured, such as invalid login and the such, but we've also enhanced the way that we supply the information to a Syslog server so that it's easier to report. If you happen to use Sentinel, we even included some reports for you. Uh, those are the, the two major enhancements that are coming out. I'll tell you what, why don't you give me a quick demo of it? Sure. We'll start by uh, logging in with a fingerprint. So uh, I'm going to select at my login here to use a biometric or fingerprint login. You'll see that the applet changes. I put down my fingerprint and it will automatically find me and log me in. Now this is in a pure Active Directory environment. So no, no, no hidden mirrors or anything like that, no, it's just all not, AD. There's not even an E directory involved in this. So now we're logged in, I'll show you how we can take that capability even further and use it inside of an application. If you had to tell your application developers to take one of your apps and make it biometrically enabled or work with a smart card, it could take months. Here, we can do it in a matter of seconds. Okay, so we'll demo the application here and the first demo we'll show is a is a simple demo where it uses my biometric to log in. Uh, and second one we'll show with an OTP. So as we start our app, and we're going to use the same app for both. So this will show that even in the same application, you may need a step up authentication. There may be part of an app that is more protected than another part of an application. So if I walk in here and I do my login, it's going to ask me to place my fingerprint on. So as soon as I do that, it reads it, and it has my username and password, and asks me to select a server to log into. Now I could have automated the server as well, but you got the, the idea that it, that it blocked the application access until I gave it a appropriate biometric. Now if I'm in my car and don't have a biometric reader, such as maybe a police officer, I can do a login using my phone, using a one-time password. So now I simply start up my one-time password application. It displays my password. I enter it and it has logged me in. You can see the title change here and I'm logged in. So both of these devices work on the same application through the same framework. This framework is also transportable into Access Manager and our other Access products. Nice, I keep seeing this Authesis point pop up. Authesis is one of our partners uh, that is supplying a, if you will, authentication framework, an underlying component for us to use, much the way NMAS was used across all of our authentication products. The advantages are you can use multiple devices as we just shown with one framework, instead of having to have, say, an RSA server for your token, a 2FA server for your biometric, an HID server for your prox card, instead of having to have multiples of these set up, it's one framework that supplies all of them. Not only that, but that same framework can underlie all of our access products. So I can take this same biometrics that I'm enrolled with here, and I can walk over to the NAM counter and log in with the same biometric. I can use the same TOTP, uh, registration that I did before, use it with my NAM product, use it with my cloud access product. Definitely going to make things simpler for our customers. Very simple, absolutely. <laughs> well, hey, thanks, Troy, for taking the time to explain to us what's new in Secure Login 8. Absolutely. Thank you, Justin. Thank you. This has been Justin Taylor for BrainShare 2013.